Want to know if your English skills are improving and what your real learning level is? Get your language skills assessed with our free level assessment test. Just click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed. In this video, you'll learn 10 of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to the 2000 Core English Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 2000 most common words and phrases in English. Each lesson will help you practice and review what you've learned. We'll also include the previous lessons at the end, because reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at EnglishClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard decks, and finally master English. Okay, let's get started. First is... Luggage. 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 Luggage refers to all of the things that you take with you on your trip. When you bring a suitcase, a backpack, a handbag, another type of bag, we call all of that luggage. So some people like to travel with a lot of luggage and some people like to travel very light, which means they don't bring a lot of luggage. Here's an example phrase. Travel with luggage. Travel with luggage. Travel with luggage. Okay, next is bandage. 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 A bandage is a piece of cloth or maybe a piece of glue and some other kind of tape, maybe material, that we put over a wound. We put over an injury to help it heal. So for very, very small injuries, maybe you know things like band-aids, which we have that are like little sticky kinds of pieces of cloth that we can put on our skin to help wounds heal. But if you have a very big injury, you may need a much larger bandage. Like you need to wrap some cloth around a maybe very damaged part of your body, or you might even break a bone and need to wrap a very, very a big bandage called a cast around your arm or your leg. No matter what, these are all referred to as bandages, things that we use to help our body heal. Here's an example. Wrap with bandage. Wrap with bandage. Wrap with bandage. Okay, the next word is patient. 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 So a patient is a person who receives care from a doctor. So although we have this word patient, which means someone who is very calm and can wait for things for a long time, the word patient in medical situations refers to the person who goes to the hospital, who goes to the clinic, who meets with the doctor in order to receive care. So whenever someone in like a doctor or a nurse position talks about a patient or the patient, they are referring to the sick person or the person who needs care. So an example of this is sick patient. Sick patient. Sick patient. Okay, the next word is department. 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 A department means part of an organization or part of a company or even part of a store. So when we talk about a department, it's usually because we want to talk about something specific that we can buy in that section or something specific that people in that section do. So in a company or in an organization, different departments have different specialties. For example, accounting or marketing or sales. And in say a department store, you might find different departments departments based on the type of item. For example, the shoe department or the clothing department or the lifestyle or home care departments and so on. Here's an example. What department do you belong to? What department do you belong to? What department do you belong to? Okay, next is accountant. 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 An accountant is someone who takes care of money, budgets, taxes, and so on. So we can have an accountant at our company, and we can also have a personal accountant. These are people who help us to keep track of our finances, our money, and to help us to file information with our governments to make sure we pay the correct amount of taxes. So an accountant is a type of job. Here's an example. Licensed accountant. 
Licensed accountant. Licensed accountant. Okay, next is lawyer. 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 A lawyer is a job. A lawyer is someone who is specialized in the rules and regulations of a country or maybe even the rules of a specific region like a city or a state. So a lawyer is someone who interprets or who understands laws. So in this word lawyer, we see L-A-W, which is law. So law refers to the rules of a specific place. A lawyer is someone who understands and interprets those rules. So here's an example expression. Company lawyer. Company lawyer. Company lawyer. The next word is wage. 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 So a wage is the amount of money that you are paid to do a job. So depending on the job, your wage is different. And depending on your experience, your wage may be different. So a wage is commonly expressed as a certain amount per hour. For example, $5 per hour is a wage. Or maybe $10 an hour is a wage. So there are many different wages according to different jobs, experience levels, and so on. Here's an example. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Next is piano. 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 A piano is a musical instrument. This is a noun. A piano is a very large, usually, instrument that has 88 black and white keys, and we play by moving our hands in this motion. So a piano can be very, very big, like the ones you see in concert halls, and we can also have digital or electric pianos, which many people have in their homes. Here's an example expression. Grand piano. Grand piano. Grand piano. Okay, the next word is flight number. Flight number. Flight number. A flight number is the number of a specific plane that someone takes to go to another location. So when you make a reservation for a flight, you will receive the flight number. So you can pass that information to someone who's going to pick you up at the airport or to share that information with someone you're going to meet at the airport, whatever. The flight number has the details like the departure time, the arrival time, the arrival gate, and so on. So a flight number is a very important part of your travel itinerary. Here's an example. Flight number 345. Flight number 345. Flight number 345. Next is agriculture. 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 Agriculture is a type of science. So agriculture refers to growing food, growing plants, and even taking care of cattle. So cattle refers to animals that we grow or that we raise for usually uh, meat purposes or for dairy purposes and so on. So agriculture refers to doing things like farming in order to create food products and perhaps other lifestyle products. Here's an example. Agriculture product. Agriculture product. Agriculture product. Let's review. I'm going to describe a word or phrase in English. See if you can remember it. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say the word we use to talk about our bags and our suitcases when we travel somewhere? Luggage. Luggage. And how to say the word that we use to describe something we put over or on top of an injury to help it heal. Bandage. Bandage. What about the word we use to talk about a sick person when they visit the hospital or visit a doctor? 
patient. Patient. Do you remember how to say a specific section of a company or a school? Department. Department. Let's try the job title for a person who deals with money and taxes for individuals and companies. Accountant. Accountant. Okay, now let's try the job title of a person who knows all the rules and regulations in a country or in a region. Lawyer. Lawyer. Now, let's see if you remember how to say the amount of money you receive in exchange for doing a job or service. Wage. Wage. Another one. What about the musical instrument you play in this motion by pressing the black and white keys? Piano. Piano. Do you remember how to say the number used to talk about a specific airplane? Flight number. Flight number. And finally, do you remember how to say the subject relating to growing food and taking care of animals for people to eat later on? Agriculture. Agriculture. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 10 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Bye! Did you take your free level assessment yet? Here's an extra bonus resource you'll get when you take the assessment. When you receive your result and learning level, you also unlock a free language course for your specific level, so you can start learning and level up your language skills. Just click the link in the description to get access. Accounting. 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 Accounting refers to keeping track of money. So in companies and organizations, there is usually an accounting department. It's a department of the company that is responsible for keeping track of money-related things. So where does the money go? Where are the receipts? What was the money used for? And so on. We also have personal accounting, where we track our own money. For example, accounting documents. Accounting documents. A count Ding documents. Next is bonus. 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 A bonus means something extra. It means something that is not part of the original plan, and in many cases it refers to extra money. So if you receive a bonus from your job, for example, it means that you receive extra money at your job. You might also just get something called a bonus at something like an event or at a restaurant or maybe at some kind of concert that you go to where you receive something extra as a kind of gift. But usually this refers to money from work. For example, annual bonus. Annual bonus. Annual bonus. Next is light. 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 So there are a couple of different uses of the word light, but for this video I want to focus on the one that refers to weight. So this light is the opposite of heavy. So something that is heavy weighs a lot, it's difficult to pick up. Something that is light does not weigh a lot, it's very easy to pick up. For example, light feather. Light feather. Light feather. Next is trombone. Trombone. Trom 
trombone. A trombone is a very common musical instrument. This is a brass instrument. It's very unique in that it's played by moving a slide up and down to change the pitch of the instrument. For example, brass trombone, brass trombone, brass trombone. Next is departure. 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 So, departure refers to the time, usually, that you leave somewhere. We see this word a lot as part of a schedule. We can use departure with a time or a place to talk about the location or the time at which we leave someplace. So, for example, departure date. Departure date. Departure date. Next is arrival. 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 Arrival refers to the opposite of departure. Departure means to leave someplace. Arrival means to come to someplace as your destination. So arrival can be used to talk about a schedule and it can also be used to talk about a location. For example, arrival gate. Arrival gate. Arrival gate. Next is violin. 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 A violin is a very common and very popular musical instrument. This is a string instrument that is small enough to be held in the hands next to the face. It's played by drawing a bow across the strings of the instrument. For example, play the violin. Play the violin. Play the violin. Earth science. Earth science. Earth science. Earth science is probably easy to guess. It is science that is related to the Earth. So the study of natural parts of our planet. So that can mean rocks and trees and nature and how the Earth moves and so on. All of these things are related to Earth science. Here's an example phrase. Earth science research. Earth science research. Earth science research. Next is science. 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 Science is a very, very big category of study. Science is related to the study of many different things in the world that are naturally occurring. So this could be people, it could be animals, it could be the planet and environment, it could be volcanoes, it could be space, it could be chemical reactions. These are all types of science. Here's an example phrase. Study of science. Study of science. Study of science. Next is prescription. 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 A prescription is something a doctor gives to you that you then take to a pharmacy to receive medicine. So in the past, we would receive a written prescription. The doctor would write the name of the medicine on a piece of paper and give it to us. Now some people might have digital prescriptions as well. You can take these to the pharmacy and receive the medication that you need. Here's an example phrase. Fill a prescription. Fill a prescription. Fill a prescription. Allergy. Allergy. This word is a noun. An allergy is a negative reaction that you have to something else. So for example, people might have an allergy to a certain food, to a certain kind of plant, maybe to an animal. So this causes a reaction in the body. For example, maybe your eyes get really, really watery or you start to sneeze a lot. These are examples of allergies. For example, allergy to pollen. Allergy to pollen. Allergy to pollen. Next is boarding pass. Boarding pass. Boarding pass. Okay, a boarding pass is a piece of paper or a digital pass that you can show to airline staff when you need to get on a plane. So a boarding pass includes your flight number, your seat number, probably the gate that your flight will take off from. So a boarding pass is necessary to get on a plane. For example, boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. 
boarding pass for the flight. Next is education. 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 Okay, education is a noun. Education refers to the things that we learn, usually in school or as well in our lifetime. So when we talk about going to school, we talk about receiving education. So that's all of the different kinds of knowledge and the different experiences that we have as kids becoming adults. And then after that, we have other forms of education, other forms of knowledge that we get from books, from our jobs, from our hobbies, and so on. So there are many different ways to receive education or to get education. Here's an example phrase. Education and training. Education and training. Education and training. Next is English. 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 Okay, so English is the language that you are learning right now with this video. So English is a very interesting language. It pulls inspiration from many other languages and countries and cultures around the world. With English, we have kind of interesting spellings to think about, interesting ways to pronounce words, and there are many different dialects to consider in English as well. Here's an example sentence. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Next is law. 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 So law can refer to two different things. Law can refer to a country or a city or a state's rules. Their formal rules are called laws. And when we go to school to study those things because we want to become lawyers, we also refer to the study of those things as law. For example, law school, law school, law school. Next is flute, flute, flute. So a flute is a musical instrument. A flute is played in this position. So we use our two hands next to our face to play the flute. It's a long kind of tube shaped instrument that makes a high pitched sound. This is very, very common in orchestras and in symphonies and in maybe high school bands as well. For example, silver flute, silver flute, silver flute. Okay, next is IT department. IT department. IT department. Okay, an IT department is a very, very common section in many companies and many organizations. The IT here stands for information technology. So usually the IT department is responsible for helping people with their computer problems, with other technology problems, media problems, and so on. For example, call the IT department. Call the IT department. Call the IT department. Next is business trip. Business trip. Business trip. A business trip is a trip that you take specifically for business. So that means it's different from a vacation. When you take a vacation, it's just for fun. When you have a business trip, you have to go somewhere for work. And maybe you have some fun while you're there also. But the main purpose of your travels is work or business. For example, go on a business trip. Go on a business trip. Go on a business trip. Next is marketing. 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 Marketing is another very common and very important section of many companies and organizations. Marketing refers to the process of creating things that will help sell products or sell goods and services to other people. So that can mean creating advertisements, it can mean writing things on a company website, and so on. For example, Marketing department. Marketing department. Marketing department. Next is popular. 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 So 
Popular means something that many people like. So when something is popular, that means that a lot of people think that it's really, really good. Be careful not to confuse popular and famous. When something is famous, it means many people know about it, or maybe many people know about a person. When something is popular, it means lots of people know about it and lots of people like it. So we can talk about people in this way, we can talk about places like restaurants, and we can also talk about things with the word popular. For example, popular man, popular man, popular man, insignificant, insignificant, insignificant. So the word insignificant means something that is not important. It's not special. If we break this word down, we have the prefix in, which means not or no, and the word significant, which means something that is important or something that we need to care about or pay attention to a lot. So together, this means not significant or not important or not something that we need to care or think about a lot. Insignificant. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Famous. Famous, famous. So something that is famous is something or someone that is very, very well known. So this is usually someone like a celebrity, like an actor or an actress. Maybe they're a musician, they're part of a band. Perhaps they're an artist, they create paintings, or maybe they write something that's very, very well known. So someone who is Famous is known by many different people, and something that is famous is also known by many different people. For example, famous actor. Famous actor. Famous actor. Sneeze. 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 So sneeze is a verb and a noun. To sneeze, the verb, means that feeling that you have in your nose when your body needs to move air out of it really quickly. We have that achoo, right? That's called the noun form sneeze. And as a verb, we say to sneeze. So that means to do that action. For example, the woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. Casual. Casual, casual. So casual is the opposite of formal. Casual means something that is kind of relaxed, something that is laid back, something that's not super polite. So when we have everyday conversations with our friends, we usually use casual language or we dress in casual clothes or we have kind of a casual feeling. For example, casual clothing, casual clothing, casual clothing. Guitar. 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 This word has kind of an interesting spelling. It starts with G-U-I, but we pronounce this as git. So a guitar is a musical instrument. We play it like this usually, and this is something that is played all over the world. There are lots and lots of talented people who play guitar, and they are called guitarists. For example, some of them play a six-string guitar. Six string guitar. Six string guitar. Next is breathe. 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 Okay, this word is a verb. It means to take air into your body and to put air out of your body. This process of getting air into your body and moving it out is called breathing. Make sure you're cautious of the spelling of this. To breathe, this word has an E at the end, yeah? We also have a noun that looks very similar and is related to this process. That's called breath, but there's no E at the end. So be careful when you use this as a verb. Make sure you don't forget that E. For example, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, breathe deeply. Spit, spit, spit. So this is kind of a gross vocabulary word, but it's important to know. This is a noun and a verb. So as a verb, to spit means to force whatever is in your mouth out of your mouth. So if you're eating something, for example, and you spit it out, that means you force it out of your mouth. If you have nothing in your mouth, just the water, the liquid in your mouth, and you put that out of your mouth, that's called spitting. So to spit means to force something out of your mouth. 
as a noun, spit means just the liquid inside your mouth. So an example, no spitting, no spitting, no spitting, dentist, dentist, dentist. So the dentist is the tooth doctor. So when you need to have your teeth cleaned, when you need to talk to a doctor about something happening in your mouth, with your teeth, with your gums, these kinds of things, you visit a dentist. It's important to see a dentist regularly. So for example, see a dentist, see a dentist, see a dentist. Cavity, cavity, cavity. So a cavity usually refers to a hole in your tooth. So this is a very common type of tooth damage. When you have a cavity, you need to go and see a dentist to get it repaired. For example, deep cavity, deep cavity, deep cavity, asthma, asthma, asthma. So this word has very interesting spelling. There's a TH in the middle, but we don't say asthma, we say asthma. So kind of ignore that, but try to remember it when you're spelling this word. So asthma is a very, very common type of illness that affects the lungs. So someone who has asthma may have trouble breathing normally, or maybe they are irritated, their lungs get irritated by some kind of allergic reaction, or maybe they have to take some kind of medication to help them to breathe regularly. So different people have different kinds of asthma, but this is a very common illness that affects the lungs. So here's an example expression. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Now that you're finished with this lesson, want to know if your language skills have improved? Take our free assessment test to assess your language. Discover your true learning level and get free access to a language course for your specific level an easy to follow course where you learn the real language, the everyday conversations that you'll soon have and absorb these practical conversations just by listening along with quick audio and video lessons from real teachers. So click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed.